in the case designer landing page the first step is called as the create stage we cannot edit or delete this create stage data will be persisted in the create stage and also case id will be created at this create stage level itself we can only add additional stages after the create stage this red bar indicates that this is configured as a resolution stage this is the happy path this is the alternate path this is the rejection scenario this is the stage name this bar indicates stage name this is the process inside that stage the stage inside say there are there can be one or more processes and inside each process there can be one or more steps for example send welcome packet process contains three steps whereas create employee record contains only one step as you can see here this entire stage contains first process second process first process contains one step second process contains three steps coming to the setup stage again there are two processes create facility setup and create it setup but these two are configured as parallel so as you can see here you can do parallel processing also that is the two cases can run in sorry two processes can run in parallel for example for a new candidate onboarding case type you can see that you can create the facilities and also create the it setup parallelly because there is no dependency among them so that the application can continue can resolve fastly this is the first stage which is the create stage in which you you can't set any stage transition whereas in remaining all other stages you can, will get three tabs like this so general tab includes automatically move to the next stage means once all the processes are completed in this stage then automatically you can move to the next stage wait for a user action means once all the processes are completed it will wait so when the csr or the agent opens the case and performs some action on the user interface then only it will move to the next stage or we, the user has to manually move it to the next stage resolve the case means you will get a red bar like this say for example if you see the offers stage it is set as resolve the stage means this stage is self is the resolution stage last stage case will be completed this is the end stage so you can state status your own status generally it will be resolved completed so you can also use resolve open child cases so whenever this if this is a parent case and it is having some child cases we will see what are child cases in future lessons you can if you check this then forcibly the child cases all the pending child cases if any will also be resolved coming to validation like you can skip this stage based on some when rules you can add or you can also skip this stage based on some expressions you can also set some entry validations py on stage entry or you can create your own entry validations so it is just a normal validate rule say for example you can enter this stage only if the like for example uh, if he is the customer type is a premium customer so, so sometimes you can also ask for mandatory attachments then only you can enter to this stage coming to goal and deadline this is for sla we can define sla at the stage le uh, stage level so we will discuss about sla or service level agreement rules in pega in future classes